Hi, this is Cody Phillips with Energy Fit Mixed Martial Arts in the Woodlands, Texas. Uh, here to discuss my giant. It's, uh, it's a very unique question because I have a number of giants in my life. Uh, something that I say uh, every night is that there is no mountain too high I can't climb. Um, someone that instilled that in me is my father. Um, but oddly enough, uh, or like some people, my stepfather is actually my giant. Uh, it's my giant that I often call my father. Uh, we met when I was about five or six years old and since the point he and my mother married and we moved here to the woodlands, there's always been days that I've learned something from him. Uh, whether I was living here or I'd moved away to college, um, even then I was learning stuff from him. Uh, what was I learning from him? I was learning things uh, as how to be a, an individual, but not just an individual, but the right type of individual. Um, there was something he always used to say to me, and, I, and now I find myself saying it to other people, there's a great book you should read, quote unquote. Uh, and that book was How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And I now attempt to read that book on an annual basis. Um, another thing he would always say is that you catch more bees with honey than you do vinegar. And since the age of eight, there's always my parents, my, my stepfather, Larry Cruz, used to always ask me to sign contracts with them. And that was their way of guaranteeing that me putting my name on something would hold me and bind me to finishing what I started and what I signed my name to, which I carry, I'm 37 now, so to this date, I still do the same thing. Uh, I'm the owner operator of Energy Fit Mixed Martial Arts and Fit District Gym here in the Woodlands, and I still like the guys that work for me or around me to do the same thing. Uh, my father, my stepfather Larry, um, and my mother, have been there every second of every day for me, no matter what it was. Uh, they put me in the right, they took, they gave me the paths to take, and then asked me to take, or asked me to put myself on the path that I thought was the right one. If I wasn't gonna take the right path, they would ask me and question as to why I was gonna take that path. Sometimes I ended up taking another path, but it was very important to have someone questioning what I was doing. It also was very important to have that type of mentor in my life uh, because without mentors, without a, a giant like my stepfather, uh, there's absolutely no way in the world that I would be sitting here today in the position to be able to be a gym owner or a business owner. Um, he taught me, and one of the most important things he's taught me, and still to this day, we talk every day, my mother, my stepfather, and I, um, I've always been afraid of failure. I hate losing. I hate losing more than anything in the world. I don't, losing second place is no fun to me. Um, I will not try something for the fear of losing or failing, but I hate doing it. Um, in business, I played sports my entire life. Failing happened. Um, there was crying when you failed and disappointment in sports. When it's business, and there's large sums of money involved, family, um, and whether or not you're gonna eat, or pay rent, or pay your mortgage, pay your bills, there's a different kind of pain and loss that is involved. Sometimes failure is, is that, sometimes failure is just, hey, it didn't work. The most important thing, that I, again, I say to myself, is there is no mountain too high I can't climb. But my father, uh, Larry, and my mother, Kathy, taught me is that it's not you failing because you're gonna fail. It's okay to fail. What's not okay to do is, is sit down on the ground and cry and mope about it. It's about how you get yourself up off the ground, dust yourself off and what you're gonna do next and, and never stop trying. Uh, I think the Colonel with Kentucky Fried Chicken probably came across a number of different people before they actually decided that his chicken was pretty good and that he could start his own company. Uh, he failed a lot. So the majority of people out there that have these big businesses, these big conglomerates uh, currently have failed way, way more than they've succeeded. So I was taught, again, from an early age, failure's okay, it hurts, um, but that's life. Uh, you gotta get up, you gotta try to do what you love, and if you don't try to do your best, it's okay to fail, but if you don't try, you're never gonna succeed in anything. And if you die with just a little bit left inside of you, then you've truly never lived. 
So it's very important that you get out there and do what my father and my mother told me. Um, get out there, fail, because you have to fail to succeed. And it makes a great success story if you can do that. At 37 right now, I'm, I'm scratching the surface as to where I feel I can be in the next 40 years. So I'm gonna fail a whole lot before this is all said and done. I may fail this year at something, but that's okay, because I'll learn something and then I'll succeed at the next thing. So um, I'm always appreciative that my family and my father, my stepfather have always been there to pick me up and help me when I have failed. Uh, one day they won't be around, so it's very it's imperative that I teach that to my son, who's now two years old, and that I, that I teach him it's okay to fail uh, as long as you get back up and you try again. So. Again, much love and much appreciation for my father, Larry Cruz, for being the man that I couldn't have asked anybody else to be. He's, he's definitely my giant.